Welcome back to Space Panda 3, episode 11. We are orbiting Glacius? No, we're orbiting Korhal. We're going to be. As Hierarch, I was made away. Yes, yes, we've heard the spiel twice already. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The Forbidden Weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The Ancient Purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. No, no, bitch, 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 bitch. Okay, I guess that's kind of her story purpose to make everybody else look good. She has the so many things. Here, they are attacking the facility. Amon has unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors! Ah, the Taldarim. But these are not just any Taldarim. Can't we? Can't we hail them? Ow! Oh. The Taldarim? They have not been seen since the Aeon of Strife, before the Protoss were united by the Kala's Light. I'm afraid they returned some time ago, Rohana. We thought them fanatical servants of the Zelnaga for years, but in truth, they had enslaved themselves to Amon. Why would any being willingly follow Amon? That is unclear. The Taldarim call themselves the Chosen. What Amon has chosen them for, we do not know. They are dangerous foes who have helped forge the hybrid and shed blood in the name of our great enemy. Protoss turned upon Protoss. The Deul demands retribution for such offense. They must be destroyed. If it is their fate, it shall be. Um. The purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of, a byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. So yeah, that's uh, not very clear right now, but the... Our scouts are reporting Amon's forces are conquering system after system. We must choose our plan of attack carefully, Hierarch. Thank, thank you for the intel. Anyway, uh, yeah, the purifiers are AI replications of Protoss. If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Oh, we better get moving then. So yeah, the, the purifiers, if working as intended, would be sapient AI. Hierarch, the Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius' orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here 
and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little what you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in. Ah, uh, there he is, Alarak. People love Alarak. You can't blame them. Tom Delancey is doing a wonderful job as a voice actor. The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. Oh no! I am detecting a Taldarine force amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. Yeah, they're basically walking shield batteries. You know how much I love shield batteries. And love it. there. Our gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. Good, that gives us a way to spend the gas overflow that we're gonna get. They also have the most adorable little weapons. Six damage. We call them tickle cannons the because that's what they do. They tickle. Very wise. Not sure what's over here. I mean, there's a falcon cannon over there and a giant scary laser beam. So I think I'm just gonna go have a look see around here. Intriguing. What do we have here? Ooh. We move unseen. Right, well, uh, I'll walk forward. How about we get a show of Dark Shrine? Oh, and uh, how about we get ourselves a nice Robo Bay? If you want the Robo Bay a little further forward, I guess. Oh, you require my skills. Our forces are near the displacement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. Our forces are in mortal danger. Get them away from the beam. Hey. There we go. Let's drop the final over here. the station scientists were storing raw solarite here as well. If possible, we oh. should obtain it. Excellent. Solarite gathered. Hello? Immortals? How dare they have immortals? All blades meet the enemy. Tickle cannons! Do! A Taldarine force field. We need to destroy its oh, power hey. source to clear the way.
I guess we should probably also just uh, get a bit of base defense. Centuries. I will activate them now. We are one with the shadows. There are good. All right. Well, let's free some of this junk. Pylons, 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 pylons. close to the actual base. We'll, we'll drop a robo close to the base. Okay. Uh, thing. Oh! Well, what do we have here? Okay, we have a bunch of cool stuff. Shadowed 
got ourselves an additional base. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. I return to serve. Just all their stuff is red. Sample obtained. Bringing nearby sentries online. We move unseen. Oh, I saw that. Even more Archons. Releasing sentries from stasis. I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. Warp prisms. Clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses. Using them against us. I don't us. want to be dealing with size storms when I'm using a death wall this big. Solarite samples. They are still in superb condition. You should see them. Oh! Pixelized. You know what? Alright. Uh, 
Okay, so let's drop that one. Drop that. Our forces oh, are in mortal guys, danger. John, don't go, Get them don't away go from the, the giant bloody murder. I oh, know, crazy, crazy idea. Oh wow, that's got a nasty base set up. Uh, we are gonna muster forces for a little bit before we go in. Uh, this still is our closest pylon. I'm here in the shadow from the shadow. Well, okay. Wish we had a forward pylon there. This one, I guess. Uh, with a little bit of temporal field, we should be able to punch in. I'm just gonna wait for that. We just got time. Access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait. There is a prototype war here, here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. Oh yeah, John Delancey. We will meet you again indeed. to see me, Faye Smith. Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought, well... He believes he was brought from stasis and made a dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. 
The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the wheel of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of a Dune. <laughs> My boy Phoenix. And though I love this Phoenix, it's, it's no replacement. Though I do love this Phoenix. This Phoenix is wonderful. But I do consider them separate people. Because they are. But this hits me right here, man. <laughs> Phoenix was my boy! Just gonna... Sit here and... I don't know. I don't want... I don't... I can't... We'll just waste 15 cell right, I guess. Talk to me, bro. Talk you and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times. And now, you lead the Protoss. I well with pride at the mere thought of it. I was chosen to represent the hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. He's such a bro. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. He's your bro! You don't need to know anything more than that. The purifier technology cannot aid us, Hierarch. It is flawed to its core. Will you not heed the warnings of the past? No, no I will not. We have acquired new robotic support technology for review. Yeah. The enemy shall be purified. Reconstruction. They just self-resurrect. That's pretty damn nice. Click, 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 click. Bloop. That's pretty great. 
That's pretty great. I, I really like that. And here, we can get our sentries, or we can get our energizers. Energizers are lovely because they are basically walking pylons, which is useful if you're using a warp-heavy technology uh, tech path. So, personally, I do love me some energizers. That and the attack speed boost that they give is really useful too. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Glades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice, thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend. But all logic defies it. We of the Nerezim often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. Yeah, heavy stuff. Oh well, I think that's a good place to end this episode. Next episode, we'll dive right into the next mission. So I'll see you there in Space Panda 3, episode 12. Boop!